Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, rain likely for tomorrow. The chances increase as we get deeper into the day. So slight chance in the morning, better chance in the afternoon, and a much higher chance tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. And it will be heavy at times, too. Skies are clear. The air is dry. It's a beautiful evening. As mentioned earlier, the temperature is a little mild for a mid-October night. And a uh, kind of an active southerly breeze responsible for keeping the temperatures from really uh, free-falling too much. And uh, we'll keep uh, the temperatures generally in the upper 50s to uh, lower 60s overnight and into uh, early tomorrow morning. Take a look at the high temps today. Wow, this was nice. I mean, 10 degrees above average, topping out between 73 and 74 inland and upper 60s along the coastline. Now, we may briefly nudge 70 for an hour or two around noontime tomorrow before the temperatures fall back. Meanwhile, lower 60s in most areas, Providence checking in at 61. So a mild evening and mild overnight. The rain returns for tomorrow, a little bit during the morning, higher chances afternoon, and a real soaker by tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Then that sets up for a much cooler weekend, not as mild as the last couple of days. You see the solid area of rain off to our west. This is lined up along a pretty strong cold front, this blue line right in here. So this is moving through tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Once the front sweeps offshore, the air behind it is much, much cooler across the northern plains and the Great Lakes. Look at the temperatures back here. Readings that are in the uh, 40s and 50s. So cooler weather headed our way. You can see the rain tomorrow afternoon that's scattered. This is around 3 o'clock. But notice the solid area of green and yellow moving right on top of us tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Some downpours. Potential is there for one, one and a half. Two inches of rain on Friday night. So we're getting real close. We'll walk you through it hour by hour, and we'll take you into tomorrow morning at around 7 a.m. Notice the temperatures very mild, mainly cloudy and humid. Not a lot of rain during the morning. Notice during the afternoon, we start to see more of the uh, areas of green showing up, indicating at least scattered showers mid to late afternoon. So really keep the umbrella on standby all day long, but especially during the afternoon and evening. This is around 6 o'clock. Temperatures starting to cool back into the upper 50s. And watch how the precipitation really fills in later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Some downpours, perhaps even an isolated thunderstorm. So for tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy, breezy, very mild. Temperatures are already well into the 60s. About a 30 to 40 percent chance of at least a passing shower. Those shower chances increase as we get deeper into the afternoon, especially towards the evening commute. Temperatures cooling back to around 63 in that heavy rain for tomorrow night. It shuts off on Saturday morning, the rain ending by around 10 a.m. In fact, I expect the sun to come back out by noontime. Second half of the day is actually sunny and dry, but breezy and much cooler, 58 degrees. Clear, cold Saturday night down in the 30s. Sunshine, seasonably cool, typical mid-October weather on Sunday with a temp of around 61. Once we get beyond 10 a.m. Saturday morning, the rest of the weekend is dry. But again, umbrellas nearby for tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. I, I think people still are so um, inclined to go out to eat that they'll sit if they have a covering and deal <laughs> with the rain. But it's still tough. It's tough for the restaurants that don't have the, the overhang. Yeah, it's a little heavy uh, Friday evening, Friday night. But Saturday night, albeit chilly, is a dry night. All right. Tony, thanks. Yeah.